All right, 6.1, part two coming at you right now. Remember, we had talked about the interior angle measures. And just as a reminder, to find the total interior angle measures, it's n minus 2, the number of sides minus 2, times 180 degrees. Um, we have gone through two different types of problems that you might see. And here is the third. We need to find the number of sides now. Instead of finding angles, now we're finding the number of sides given an interior angle measure. So, how would we do this? Our problem, the measure of an interior angle of a regular polygon is 150 degrees. Find the number of sides in this polygon. So, um, now we need to solve for n. Now, the big thing we have to read here is an interior angle, which means just one. One interior angle of this figure is 150 degrees. So, what can we do with that? Um, in part A, we need to use the interior angle sum theorem to write an equation to solve for n, which is the number of sides. So, still using that same equation. And if you recall, it was the total interior angles equals 180 times n minus 2 or n minus 2 times 180. And if you break down that total interior angle sum, it really is one interior angle times the number of sides. That's really how you get the total interior angle sum. So what we can do is we can use this 150 degrees in place of that one interior angle. So how would we set this up? We would say 150 degrees, that one interior angle, times the number of sides, which we can call n, equals n, the number of sides, minus 2 times 180. Because we know the total angle, um, the total interior angle sum really equals 150 times the number of sides. So how do we solve that? We have n on both sides, so let's simplify. Um, this left side will be t um, 150n equals, and you can distribute that 180 into that parentheses. So 180n minus 180 times 2 would be 360. Now I'm going to pull 180 in over here, which will give me a negative answer on both sides. And remember that property, if you divide by a negative, if you divide a negative by a negative, it actually becomes a positive. So I get 30, negative 30 in equals negative 360. I'm going to divide by negative 30, so my n actually equals 12, which that answer says I have a 12-sided figure, a 12-sided regular polygon that has each interior angle as 150 degrees. Now, just as a reminder and just something beneficial to write down. When you're finding a regular polygon's number of sides and we're given one interior angle, here is our formula. We're going to say the interior angle measure times the number of sides equals 180 times the number of sides minus 2. Now you will be given the interior angle measure and you will be asked to find the number of sides in, um, in on both sides of the equation. So you can always refer back to that. So go ahead and do your next checkpoint number three. Um, and then come back, um, pause the video, and then restart it and check your answers. Right here is the answer to our check for your progress number three. And we are going to move on to our last part of this chapter or this section to the polygon exterior angle sum. Pretty similar to the interior, we're just looking at the exterior angles now. Um, and this theorem is going to actually remember give us the total exterior angles added together. 
So the sum of the exterior angle measures of a convex polygon, one angle at each vertex, is 360 degrees. Now this actually, this measure, applies to all convex polygons. So just remember that. It doesn't change like the interior angles. It will stay the same. So every polygon, no matter how many sides, all of those angles will add up to 360. Um, remember, an exterior angle is just an angle of the an interior angle, and then I'm just going to extend one of those sides, and that creates my exterior angle. Remember, the exterior plus my interior angle, one of them will always equal 180 degrees. Those are a linear pair, but that's a little side note. So we are going to add up all of the exterior angles and they will always equal 360. Now the number of exterior angles is also going to equal the number of sides and that's going to be pretty helpful when we start to add them all up so we don't add one exterior angle more than once. All right um, at the top of this next page before we get started will you put in the top left hand corner um, the total number what is the total number of all the exterior angles what will they always add up to um, that we just talked about so put that in the left the top left hand corner of this next page all right so we are going to find the exterior angle measures of the polygon we need to find the value of x in our diagram. So we need to use the polygon exterior angles theorem to write an equation for x, which means we need to add all exterior angles to equal, remember that awesome number, 360 degrees. Um, and remember where you started. Where did you start adding the exterior angle? That is super important because you don't want to add um, one exterior angle twice. So how do we do that? Well, we know there are seven sides, which means we're going to add together seven exterior angles. And we know that those are always going to equal 360 degrees. So you just pick a point and start. So I'm going to start right there. And I always like to kind of make a dot to where I started so I remember when I get back there. So I'm going to say 5x and I'm going to go um, clockwise. 5x plus 4x minus 6 plus, and then keep going, 5x minus 5 plus, and really take your time when you're writing these because one little mistake when you're writing it could mess the whole thing up even though you know exactly what you're doing. Plus 5x plus 5 and notice I that is my last um, exterior angle so now I get to set all of that equal to 360 degrees. Now it sounds kind of crazy but that's what the theorem says. So um, remember, everything is on one side, so we need to combine like terms. So 5x plus 4x plus 5x plus 4x plus 6x plus 2x plus 5x. Adding all those together, we're going to have 31x's. So remember, do not change their signs. Next, negative 6 minus 5 minus 3 minus 12 plus 3 plus 5. In that calculator you would come up with negative 12 to make sure you are not changing its sign. And that's always going to add up to 360 degrees. Exterior angles equal 360. We knew that. Alright, so then we're just going to solve like normal. Add 12 to both sides. 31x equals 372. Divide each side by 31. Well, after I do that, x is going to equal 12. All right, last problem. 
we need to find the measure of each. Oh no, there's that word again, each, meaning one. One exterior angle of a regular decagon. In decagon, we can remember that n, the number of sides, in a decagon equals 10. So just as a reminder, a regular decagon has 10 congruent sides and 10 congruent angles as well. Well, the exterior angles are also congruent in our, ex, in our regular polygons. Since angles supplementary to congruent angles are congruent. Remember that congruent supplements theorem. So we are going to let, and let's call this E so we don't get mixed up with N, the other N that we um, used before. We're going to call E the measure of each or if it helps you to say one exterior angle. So we're going to let that be represented by the letter E. E exterior, you know. All right, so, and we also know that all exterior angles add up to, you are correct, 360 degrees. It doesn't matter how many sides. 360. So here's our equation we're going to use to find one exterior angle. The number of sides, which is 10, times E, which is the measure of one exterior angle, equals the total measure of the exterior angles, which is 360. Pretty easy. To solve for E, we're going to divide by 10 on each side. So E is 36 degrees. Number E actually equals the measure of one exterior angle of a regular decagon. So there is a difference in how you solve for things if it's regular or not regular. All right, you need to stop this video, do your next two, check your progress, and then check your answers. Don't forget to watch, the in, watch and listen the entire video. Make sure you show all of your work. Right here are your answers to the last two, check your progress. And at the bottom of this page, um, if you will let me know, what are your Thanksgiving plans? So go ahead and write that at the bottom of the page. And when you are finished, don't forget to submit these to Schoology so I can check them. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or are mixed up, you can always go back and rewatch the video. Um, have a good day.